Hello everyone, Karan here from Tetris and today we are watching the Samsung Galaxy S9 with the new One UI 2.0. So first of all let's just go here and check out what's the software. So the software as you can see is the One UI 2.0. Android version is 10. Let's go back and let's just check out. So we are going to check out what are the software updates that have happened and how does it look? It's just a first look. I haven't really gone through them, all of them individually, but then we'll go through them together. So it's going to be a long video. So just bear with me on that. The first thing, there's dark mode in it. So we already have had dark mode, but one of the changes that I found out with the dark mode is that now you get it for Chrome as well. So your Chrome is completely dark. In the previous, everything else was covered, but besides your Chrome. So well, that's one update that I have seen. Uh, you might have seen something else. And it says that there are darkened wallpapers, widget and alarm while dark mode is on. Let me see. Let me go and check alarms. Mm. I mean, this was already black, so I really don't know if this made a change or not. Icons and color, I really haven't seen too much of change in icon and color, but then I don't know, maybe. Navigation and gesture, yes. So just this smoothness that you saw over here, this in itself proves that uh, that smoothness has, has come around. Because earlier when you used to open an app, close the app, it used to be a very jittery experience, not a very smooth one. Uh, this gives it more of an iPhone-esque look, which is good. Then uh, full screen gesture added new navigation gesture. So there is one, uh, just a second, let's go to settings. After that we'll have to go to display and uh, navigation bar. So if you go to navigation bar and you click on more options, so the current one, this one, which I already use, has already been done in One UI 1, uh, first version. This is the new one. So let's tap here, back gesture. So swipe from bottom of the screen to go to home screen. Okay. And uh, let's just see how it is. Okay. Uh, so I also have Samsung Pay. Yeah, so that will be a pain in the butt. Okay. So you do this and there's Google. And you do like this and you have... Okay, so... I don't know. Uh, am I a fan of it? Let me see. Let me see if I if this sort of interests me. Okay. Mm. A little bit of jankiness, honestly speaking. Mm. I don't know. It feels a bit janky to me. Okay. So this is the. Oh, so this is for, God, how, how do you do this? Anyways, I think it's quite, is it irritating? Yeah. Um, how do I open? Fuck it. Okay. Uh, let's go to settings and let me just get rid of this. It'll take me some time to get used to this. Uh, I'll give a later review of whether this is okay or not, but for now it just seems like janky. Nothing more. Uh, how do I change? Okay, go to display and I'll resume to my default uh, settings that I was pretty, pretty, pretty satisfied with. So satisfied with this and okay it's not the best it's not that smooth interface but then it's at least it doesn't 
shed all over everything you want to do and uh, let's go to settings and let's check what other things are there okay so we covered everything uh initially uh high contrast keyboard uh, yada 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 that is fine better text over wallpaper see text more clearly against wallpaper as one ui would automatically adjust font color based on light and dark areas to contrast in the images that's pretty solid the battery uses graphs now provide more detailed information this one more thing which for some reason they haven't mentioned when i go to power mode now i have this adaptive power saving which is like superb so uh if it actually works so you know this should really be very good uh camera added the ability to edit the modes that appear on bottom of the screen new icons so camera is somewhere uh the layout where i have seen the maximum change so let's just go here and the interface has changed quite significantly so if you go to photos videos more under more you get your pro experience food night uh, slow motion hyperlapse everything and then you go to video and photo so it's mostly of an interface change rather than any performance improvement and such and then it says in camera in internet there have been some changes and uh, for samsung internet uh, i i really don't care much for that but if if you do then good for you there are some changes being made uh, samsung contacts again not much of a huge fan i use google hangouts and google contacts so it doesn't really bother me that much and then we have calendar so a new handwriting feature that has been added s pen so i don't use s pen doesn't matter to me reminder set reminders my file has been changed calculator has been added new functionalities in it android auto is now preloaded okay link sharing samsung desks media and devices okay so many things that it hasn't till now said actually so when i go here in the lock screen it hasn't mentioned that if i swipe from here so this is something which uh, as you can see over here every time a new wallpaper would come in here this is something which wasn't there uh, this is something that used to exist with these mi phones and all but then now it's even here so uh, this is something else which i didn't see anyone else actually doing so you know kudos to samsung for doing this i like it uh, you might might not like it so that's up to you all right guys so that is about it i know it was a very short and a quick video because uh, i uh, you know thought i would have more to cover but uh, that is about it uh, if i'll have some more developments or if i see something more interesting i'll let you guys know thank you so much for watching this video guys like and subscribe